By all appearances, he's your typical NFL offensive guard. Big and strong. But for number 76, Laurent Duvernay-Tardif, Braun comes with a big brain. In between practices and games, the Quebecer managed to become a doctor. Sunday, another milestone. He'll be the first doctor to play in a Super Bowl. With that distinction comes media attention and unexpected questions at football press conferences. <laughs> Are we really going to talk about that? It's probably one of the most uh, interesting person I know. Charles Alexandre Lacroix will be watching from the stands in Miami on Sunday. Salut. He met Duvernay Tardif in med school and even brought him in for a shift in the ER. He was able to go through med school. He's able to perform at the highest level of sports and yet he's very down to earth. In between football and medicine, yeah! Duvernay Tardif also finds time for his foundation, encouraging kids to play sports. He did a stint as a sports reporter and he can bake. Duvernay Tardif spent his teens working in bakeries owned by his parents. For the team here, his accomplishments are a source of pride. He's doing great at the sport that he loves and he's doing great and his career, so I mean, who else can do like uh, say like, oh, I ha hi, I'm a doctor from McGill and I'm playing the Super Bowl. But the league faces concerns about concussions and evidence the sport could lead to brain degeneration. How does a doctor square playing football with that? At the end of the day, you, you gotta look at the big picture, you know, and, and people who do team sport, people who, who are active, people who, who play football are usually I think better leader, better human uh, that are more balanced. His next goal, bringing home that Super Bowl ring. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Montreal.